Hmm. Was it Steinsgate Sailor Moon Part Timer or Steinsgate Part Timer Sailor Moon? Hey Kevin, what are you up to? I'm trying to organize my anime for my v fourth letter. You know, see how that works. Every fourth letter. Every fourth letter. Ah, you know what? I'm actually impressed. But wait. What if it's less than four letters? Or what if it had numbers or Japanese titles? Wouldn't that make it more harder to organize? Welp, I give up. Should I start the show without you? Welcome to Otaku Overdrive, your weekly source for all things otaku. I'm Kevin Reyes. And I'm Todd. This week we're talking news, take a first look at an anime from the summer anime season, review Figma Asna ALO, and do a spotlight on the very kawaii sound of music from an awesome musician. With all this being said, um, this entire segment I'm just going to say I'm very happy to do. I come prepared for <laughs> this, exactly being dressed and everything. I don't, so... Well, that's okay. Yeah. Todd, you ready? I am ready. Let's jump right in! <laughs> <laughs> this week has mainly been a game and news week with the first news that Kawaii Tecmo, their Berserk game, will come out on North America in the fall on the PS4, PS Vita, and interesting to me, the PC. That means I'm totally playing it. Alright, alright. The official Bandai Nemco game, Naruto Online, is coming out in July 20th. Yeah, and it's uh, free to play and actually licensed. And it's kind of funny because like everyone who reported on it made sure to like specify that it's like actually licensed because the internet is full of like endless knockoffs of Naruto Online games. Really? So, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And you see ads for them all the time. It's it's awful. <laughs> So now, uh, a new Fates game, Fates Excedia the Umbral Star, was announced to be released in North America this winter for the PS4 and Vita. I think I'm going to be definitely getting this because it's a Fate game. No, exactly. You know, it's funny because, like, PS4 and PS Vita are still getting, like, Japanese releases. I specify more the Vita that are still getting. Most of these games are coming out for the Vita, so that's, like, Which cool. is really interesting. The only games coming out for the Vita are from Japan at this point. Yeah, because, <laughs> I mean, around here, Vita is, like, kind of a... Dead Sadly. <laughs> yeah, which is very sad. But hey. I own one, so I support it. Fair enough. So, it looks like Legendary Pictures is trying to make a live-action Pokemon movie. Presumably because of the insane popularity with Pokemon Go app. Um, so, interest in such a thing is at like, an all-time high. I don't know how I feel about it, though. Like, live-action Pokemon? I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know this Pokemon Go game was a huge hit, yeah. but... Live action, I mean, that's gone down the drain a lot. No yeah. <laughs> Just don't kill Charmander. Yeah, or, or don't make, like, Avatar, like, Pokemon, like, the equivalent with their live action. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, let's take a break. That's all the new news we have for right now. And when we get back, we're going to the anime season. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Welcome back! So as with all AMA seasons, this summer one has brought more new and returning AMA wealth than one could hope for. From the most well-known anime titles that has the hypes to reach the heavens. The heavens. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Mob Psycho 100, Berserk, Food Wars 2, and Danganronpa 3 to the more, you know, less well-known titles. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Todd both figured that we'd take a first watch at each of our personally uh, chosen anime from the season. Although, as much as we both want to watch Berserk or Mob Psycho 100 for this segment, I figure we choose one of the, or two of the less known anime, uh, whether we would traditionally watch it or not. Um, so, yeah, Todd, shall I give you the honors to start first? Mainly because I haven't chosen mine yet. I'm and I'm going to do that honors. now. Do those honors, Simon. I've got to do this. Wait a minute. Where did you. Don't worry about it. So, the anime I chose was Regalia, The Three Sacred Stars. Just from the perspective of watching the first episode of the show, it's about two sisters. 
Uh, one's named Drano, which is has a mysterious background. The other sister is Yui, which seems to have a normal life. But at the end of the episode, she has a much bigger part than you think. So I definitely see the show going somewhere. Um, it Right in the beginning of it, I mean, you just get slammed with action-packed scenes, which is really awesome in my opinion. Uh, it's very similar to other anime shows that I have seen with mechs, um, like Eureka 7. That's really a big one for me for this. Uh, the other few, uh, Code Geass, um, Evie Galeon, if I'm pronouncing that right, which I'm probably not, and uh, Gundam Iron Blood, which I have just recently uh, started to watch. The first episode definitely leaves you in a huge loophole. Uh, non-stop questions, curveballs to who people are, to what's going on, uh, everything. So I don't know if that's really a good thing or a bad thing, having all these, you know, non-stop questions thrown at you. Um, like, what's going on? Like, I have a big question mark over my head, but I, I, I loved the episode. Other things I liked about it was the mech designs. Again, it was, I saw a lot of Eureka 7, if I'm pronouncing that right as well, um, with the like eyes moving in the mechs, uh, how they're piloted. Uh, I kind of like things to start off like really intense, which I know a lot of animes do do. And then they, you know, you see as it goes on the character's progression and everything. And I really like that a lot. Definitely going to give this one a try. I hope you guys do. And that's the one I've decided to pick for this summer. Oh, all set, Todd? Yep. Awesome. Luckily, I am too. So, the anime I watched was uh, The Time Traveling Girl. The show is about a middle school girl, Mari, who, when hanging out with her best friend, Waka, to make cake, travel back in time. Mari's dad seems to be the cause of this. He's a world-class scientist that was thought to be away on the trip. So this show can be cutesy and pretty comedic at times. Um, it has a style that really resembles uh, shows I watched as a kid, and that's mainly why I chose to watch it. Um, I probably wouldn't have watched it otherwise, but it has just very specific moments that just kind of give me nostalgia feels, and that always wins me over. Uh, there are times in the episode where um, those weren't as uh, presents, but... I probably a good like four times throughout the show I got that nostalgia presence. The animation style is actually not really my thing, but I can appreciate it for what it is. And although it's probably more animated towards uh, a Saturday morning kids show, that's probably why I get that nostalgia feel. All around, the show actually made me laugh a whole bunch of times, uh, especially with uh, the interesting perspective of how the Japanese see uh, European historical figures. In the first episode, you see uh, a historical figure, which I'm actually blanking out the name right now. Um, I think he's... Uh, something Gilbert. Something Gilbert, I saw this telling me. Um, <laughs> he, uh, something Gilbert. I can't lie, the time traveling aspect kind of drew me to it as well. Well, it's not Steins Gate or probably not even Erased. It's still a really enjoyable show, and I might just consider I watch the first episode. I might just continue watching it. Time to take a break, and when we come back, the review of Figma Asna ALO version. Todd, Been waiting for this. <laughs> Todd did this review, so it should be really awesome. In a world filled with fairies, mystical creatures, and many quests to explore, a brand new adventure begins. Take to the skies with ex-subcommander Knights of the Blood, I present you Figma Asuna ALO version. Asuna brings the world of Elvenheim to life with her bright vivid colors. Colors that are flawlessly recreated with the figure and colors that let you know her avatar is an Undine fairy. Masters of healing and water magic, these fairies from the east can also fly, and Asuna is no different. The figure comes with wings that connect to her back through one main piece. Each wing moves individually from each other, allowing you to pose her like she's soaring through the wind.
Asuna comes with her weapon of choice, a rapier, a light one-handed sword that has a sleek silver look. With the use of an extra sword hilt, she can holster her rapier on her side, sliding without any trouble. Along with her rapier, Asuna has her legendary wand, the Crest of Yggdrasil. Even though this wand looks like an ordinary tree branch, it's actually a very powerful weapon. With 10 hands and 3 faces, she comes with enough accessories to pull off your favorite poses from Elven Hunt. Although, if you pre-ordered her from Good Smile, you also get a 4th face, which, oh my god, I adore. Asuna has no major flaws of her own, but there is one thing I did hope would be included. A back piece that selected figments do come with, which would have let her wear her wings without a stand. But, it's not even close to a deal breaker. From her colors, to her weapons, to her fairy wings, this figma is my all time favorite anime character. And let me tell you, when I saw her, she absolutely blew me away. Sculptor Nayo Takahashi gets all the credit and more for bringing to life the Iron Crod Flash, the Elvenheim Berserker Healer, and the one and only Asuna Yuki. So that was Asna ALO version. Todd, you reviewed this, so I'm going to give this all to you right now. Alright, so I have a lot to talk about, about this Figma in general, because she is my all-time favorite character. I think I've made this clear on this show so <laughs> many times. I know if Kevin heard this, he's probably sick of hearing it. <laughs> um, but yes, when Figma made this, I was very shocked uh, and happy and beyond what I can express right now. But uh, Kevin one day brought it to my attention. Um, yeah, it was actually really funny. Um, I, I, I have Good Smile, um, any news and updates directed to my email immediately. And so obviously I'm just like going to work or something and I check my phone and I see it. I'm like, I immediately like uh, show Todd or try show Todd. And he didn't, like, haven't seen it yet. I'm just like, Todd, you're going to love this. Showed it to him and <laughs> oh, <laughs> immediately yeah. pre-ordered it. Oh, yeah. I legit froze when I saw this because I was waiting for this at the end of season one when it just finished back in, <laughs> I think, 2000 and... I have no clue. <laughs> I, I know it's Sometime. one of the 2000 numbers. I want to say 2000. <laughs> I hope so. 12 or 2010. I don't remember exactly. But, yes. Uh, so I've been waiting for a very long time for this figure. Mm. But, um, so we did mention in the review that there was a slight little, I'm not going to say downer because this is not a deal breaker at all. You mm. get your money's worth That's for right. everything. Um, granted, you can't get that special face, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, when Kevin showed me this, that was the <laughs> chance to get that. Oh yeah, the pre-order exclusive yes. happens. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that little piece that we mentioned, there is a way, well, there's a way around it. And selected figmas do come with this. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, just to, to rehash, is, uh, the little piece that allows for uh, the Sassan figure to have her wings attached without the stand. Because uh, currently, for whatever reason, fi fi uh, Figma didn't include this piece even though in the preview pictures on the website they have her with this piece included it's right in this picture yeah it's actually on here um and yet you know at the same time they didn't include it but um so you can which figmas um could you can you get this piece from um right now that i know of that i own every attack on titan figure does come with this mm -hmm. except for the cleaning levi i believe mm -hmm. i don't know if he does come with the little cape they wear um the scout cape yep uh then he does have it but i see i don't have that figure yet so i don't know but all the attack on titan figures do come with this little knob which i don't know if you guys can see it probably move it but, down here right let's see right uh, around there yeah like, yeah like my hand takes it all here <laughs> i'm gonna put it on the table that works there we go probably right there that tiny piece 
<laughs> um, anyways, it's clear, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, mm. Yeah, so all the Attack on Titan figures do come with it. Um, granted, I had to sand the piece down a little to fit oh, which one? his knob. Uh, this oh. exact one. Oh, that one? Okay. Yeah, I had to sand it down. Oh, really? Because okay. um, it wasn't an issue with me. I have three others. Mm. Uh, granted, I took it from, I think it was Levi's box. I don't remember. But um, yeah, that's besides the point. But there's a way around <laughs> it to let you guys know. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, you, you reviewed this, actually, Todd, which is um, awesome, because uh, despite you What's actually... my favorite character? <laughs> your favorite character, but you've reviewed uh, figures before, although they, uh, sadly the reviews never came out yet, um, because that was, like, before the whole... That's all our old stuff. Yeah, that's all old stuff, but um, so this is, like, the first, like, debut of your... Uh, ver- and I'm very review. excited to have done it, because yeah. from my perspective, like, this is my first time, I've never done this before, um... It was a new experience to me, yeah. and I enjoyed doing it. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, awesome. So now it's time for our artist spotlight. So this artist uh, might be less known in the United States. Uh, you can probably find them on SoundCloud and Twitter. It's You Know Me, and their song, Night That Does Not Dawn, Wake Up, Not Dream, featuring Nikamok, which I'm really sorry for butchering your name. I'll have it right here listed. But yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. for watching if you like what you saw please subscribe and leave a comment let us know what you liked uh, if you, and if you're so inclined you can find us on Facebook where you can you know kind of get behind the scenes pictures and videos you can also find us on Tumblr if you want to see our figure photography or any pictures you haven't seen in this episode and you can follow us on Twitter if you want to hear birds chirp twerp twerp <laughs> not twerk <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 please don't. <laughs> and it's not a final thought. You can uh, find You Know Me's song on SoundCloud and as well as the rest of their music. Uh, link in the description and right here. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Kevin out. And Todd out.